Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mathematics and let's look at this question today. So right here we have really interesting relaxing challenge for us. Right here we have this question, 2 divided by 2 and in parentheses 1 plus 1. For most of you this looks like a very easy question, the easiest question you've ever seen because we have only 1 and 2, we have addition, we have division, everyone learns this stuff in the 3rd or 4th grade, everyone know about it and here's our question, let's try to rewrite it. So we have 2 divided by 2 and 1 plus 1. So on the first side this is very simple question, but a lot of students do this mistake, many will get wrong about this question, so I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. Right here we have three options, so we can easily check our answers here in just one minute, so just pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. We have option A, option B and option C. Okay, here is our question. And what is the correct answer? So right here we have a lot of discussion about it. We have division sign right here, we have multiplication sign and right here in parentheses we have, uh, we have addition. So the first combination we have division, multiplication and uh, the, th the addition in parentheses. The second com combination can be multiplication, division, then parentheses or parentheses, then multiplication, division and as you can see we can find a lot of combination. But in mass we have only one correct answer and let's try to look at it in another perspective. So we have a lot of combination and obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? If you start from division we have one answer, if you start from parentheses another answer, if you start from multiplication a completely different answer. So our main question is the next, what is the correct order to do the problem? Because uh, whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? And for this question I have this PMDMC order of operation. Let's try to look at it in the perspective of PMDMC. And I want to say one really important uh, quite a really important moment that I respect every order of operation. I know about BODMAS, I know one country in the world solve it in a completely different order of operation, another according to PMDMC. I will solve it according to PMDMC because um, this is the most popular order of operation in the world. For example, the most internet libraries solve it acor solve according to PMDMC and if you put this uh, question in like a popular internet library, math library of course, yeah, you can easily solve it correctly in the terms of order of PMDMC. And I, res I respect every order of operation, I respect every solution because this is not like 100% correct solution in terms of uh, different countries have different order of operation. Yeah, but I will solve it according to PMDMC. A lot of countries, a lot of internet libraries solve it according to PMDMC. And let's look at this in the perspective of PMDMC. Okay, so we have 2 divided by 2 and in parentheses 1 plus 1. So we hope you understand my explanation about this PMDMC. I respect every order of operation, but I will solve it according to this one because this is the most popular order of operation. I learned about this order of operation a lot and a lot of countries solve it according to PMDMC. But I respect every, everyone's opinion about order of operation. Okay, according to PMDMC, we have a lot of steps, but let's go th fast through the steps. So we have parentheses, let's look at it. Where do we have these parentheses? Right here we don't have parentheses. Yeah, we have on the right, we have parentheses. So right here we have, we have parentheses. And right now we need to start from this because we have parentheses. So we need to solve this expression with these parentheses. It is our first step right here. Okay, we have 2 divided by 2 and in parentheses 1 plus 1 equal to equal to 2. So times and uh, let's go to the next step. What about exponents? What about exponents right here? Let's look at it in terms of exponents. No, I don't see any exponents, so we just skip this part. So as you can see, we completed uh, these two steps. Find the parentheses, we solved parentheses expression and we skip this exponents part because we don't have exponents. Let's go to the next step. The next step according to PMDMC, this is multiplication and division group because this is the main common mistake. Uh, someone who started learning PMDMC, they think that uh, we need to look at it in perspective of multiplication sign. We need to add to this multiplication, we need to add division sign. This is one common group and we need to find this group. Let's look at it. Where do we have multiplication and division sign? Yeah, we have division sign right here, so we're interested in this expression and we have multiplication sign right here. Okay. So a lot of uh, countries in the world discuss about this type of expression where when we have like division then multiplication a lot a lot of discussion about it I respect countries that uh, multiply it first I respect countries that divide it first but according to PMDMC we need to look at it in a perspective of uh, left to right so we have multiplication sign we have division sign so in this case we need to go from left from left to right yeah in terms of PMDMC yeah from left to right, the first sign from left to right doesn't matter, multiplication, division, we have division in our case, so 2 divided by 2 equal to, equal to 1, yeah? And 1 times 2 
equal to equal to two. Moreover, we don't have addition. We, uh, right now, we don't have addition and subtraction part because we just did this part right here in parentheses. So the correct answer according to PMDMC is option option C. But if you multiply it first, then it looks like you will have answer B. For me, correct answer is option C because I respect this order of operation. I learned this stuff and I respect every opinion about this order of operation. A lot of countries have one half, a lot of countries have two, but if you put it into like scientific or graphing calculator, you will have option C. So for me, I prefer this option and I respect every opinion because this is a world, all different people, different opinion about it. But in my case, correct answer is option, option C. Okay, option C is a correct, a correct answer. I hope you understand my explanation. I try to explain step by step. And I hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if your answer like uh, don't uh, is not the same as mine because uh, because every country every opinion as I told before every country every opinion about it different opinion a different thought and it's great so thank you for your time and have a great day I hope you're doing great and I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures.